My husband shaved off my hair for his shameful secret. My hair fell out in chunks after delivery. Sid wanted me to shave it off. He'd become allergic to my hair. He started choking. I agreed to get a short haircut, but Sid shaved it all off. After that, he stopped going out with me. My asymmetrical skull disgusted him. I ordered a wig, but Sid burned it with a curling iron. He said it was an accident. He tried curling it to make it look less cheap. Sid promised to buy me a new one the next day and left for a party. When I saw Sid had forgotten his allergy pills, I rushed after him. Instead of a party, I ended up at an exhibit. Sid wasn't answering his phone. I eventually found him in a quiet corner. What I saw made me gasp. He was making out with some bimbo. I ran out in a panic, but some man stopped me and handed me a check. He said this money would help me survive. He wanted to help. I didn't get why he'd do this until Nick showed me something. My portrait was in the center of the charity exhibit. Sid was raising money for my surgery. Sid and his floozy were waiting for a flight to the islands, but they were in for a surprise, me. He started lying about an urgent business trip, but I showed him the check and the fake webpage of me. Sid laughed. He said I'd go to jail for fraud, like he was just a victim. The traces led to my account, and he'd already withdrawn the money. It couldn't be traced. The police came up to us and asked me to go with them. Sid whispered he'd put something in my shampoo and made a great living off my baldness. My world collapsed. Sid was a con man. I'd go to jail. What would happen to our baby? Suddenly, Nick showed up. He said I was just a witness. Sid and his accomplice were accused of fraud. Nick was a detective. The charity had hired him. They suspected me of forging medical papers and decided to check. Nick tried provoking me with a check, but realized I knew nothing. Sid is now under investigation, and I work at the foundation with actual sick people. I grew my hair back and am learning to love myself. It's better to listen to yourself than to those who are never happy with you, right?